Welcome to Coco's 2D Tutorials, brought to you by Bob Yulan. For more information, go to bobyulan.com slash cocos2d. This tutorial is called Fun with Labels. Cocos 2D has three ways to create labels. The simplest one is CC Label, which creates labels using the true type font files. It renders fast, but is slow when it comes to creation and updates. It is easy to work with and it is flexible. CC Label Atlas creates labels via a texture atlas. The format is very basic. It is fast when it comes to rendering, creating and updating labels. But it is not so flexible to work with. The third option is CC Label BM font. BM stands for bitmap. It also creates labels via texture atlas but has a more complex format. It is fast when it comes to rendering, creating and updating labels. And it is also flexible to work with. So, CC Label BM font has the advantages of both CC Label and CC Label Atlas. The complex format can be overcome by using a tool that automatically creates the needed format. Here is how to use CC Label BM font. You need to create two files. A PNG file that contains the different characters and the FNT file that controls how to get at the individual characters from the PNG file. You can create these two files with different tools. There is a tool called Bitmap Font Generator from Angel Code, but it only works on PC and it is free. Another tool is Hero. Hero stands for Hieroglyphics. It is a Java applet, so it runs on both PC and Mac and it is also free. The third option is Glyph Designer, which works on Mac, but costs money. Today it costs about $30, but that might change in the future. In this tutorial we will use Glyph Designer to work with CC Label BM font. Let's go to Xcode and see how this is done. We are inside Xcode and our task is to show a label with the text Bob. Our plan is to use the CC Label BM font clause. Let's go to the documentation and look at CC Label BM font. First, we observe that CC Label BM font inherits from CC Node. We have a class method called Label with String and Font File. Let's take a look. And as input, we provide the font file and also the string that we want to show and the output is a label containing our string. Go back. Since CC label BM font inherits from CC node, it means that it has a property called children, which is an array. And the elements of that array or the individual characters of the label. Let's go back to Xcode. And the first thing we want to do 
is to create a bitmap font atlas and also the corresponding control file. And that we will do with the application called Glyph Designer, which you see here. And we will use Monaco as our starting font. We'll take the size of 26. We will use solid color. Let's take black, for instance. We will not have an outline and not a shadow. And we want the full ASCII. Update. So there is our full atlas. Let's save it on the desktop, for instance. Call it uh, something like My Monaco. Then we export. Let's give it the same name My Monaco. And it will give us two files, mymonaco.fnt and mymonaco.png. Let's quit Glyph Designer. And let's drag the two files inside the resources. There we have our PNG file. And there we have our control file. Let's now go to hello world.m and add some code in the init method. Here we are creating our label by sending the message label with string to the CC label BM font class. And the string we are sending is Bob. And the font file is mymonaco.fnt. We position it in the middle and then add it to the layer. Let's run this. And there is our string Bob. Let's do something more fun. Go back, add some more code. And here we are looping through the children of the array. As you can see, we are taking one character at the time and run some delay and rotation action on it. Let's run and see what we end up with. There we have it, showing that we can reach and manipulate each individual character. Thank you for watching.